Hello and wie geht's? Um, today we're going to look at all of the German shirts that I have in my collection. So last week I posted a video whereby I showed every single shirt that I own, um, but it was a bit difficult to sort of ascertain the shirts individually. They were sort of obscured by other shirts or by furniture. So I thought if I'd maybe break it down into sort of a few bite-sized videos whereby you can see them in more detail. You can actually um, sort of notice what shirts I do own and what shirts I don't. So for no particular reason, we're going to start with the German shirts. I don't own a Bayern Munich shirt. I don't own a British Dortmund shirt, mainly because it's very easy to get those. So I'm waiting for these clubs to release something truly special. So um, the German part of my collection is one of the most popular. I think I've got about 27 shirts. So I'll quickly cycle through. Hopefully I can remember what well, team. Hopefully I can also remember whether it's the home, the away or the third shirt and what season it was um, released. Um, I won't go into too much detail because um, it might already be a decent uh, length video, but um, we'll just go through as, as they are. So, we start with this by Leverkusen away shirt, which was released in 2014-15. Um, nothing really that stands out here. I don't particularly like the logo, uh, the Leverkusen logo, it's a bit of felt. I don't like that. Um, it's like an embroidered felt, so it's not the worst, but it's, it is what it is. So that's that one. Next we have this exceptionally bright Augsburg shirt, which is their third shirt from 2016-17. Um, I haven't seen too many Augsburg shirts actually for sale. And I do have a soft spot for these luminous colours, mainly because when Chelsea released their away shirt, maybe 2006, I think, or seven, I sort of like got me hooked on it. Um, but it's really bright. Other than that, nothing else really to talk about. We have this uh, Mainz shirt, which is also a third shirt from 15, 16 this time. And it's got this weird sort of ripple effect that runs across the front of it. Um, manufactured by Lotto, they started producing quite a few weird designs around about this time. Um, this is one of them. I've got um, a Dijon French shirt, which has got a similar crazy design. Um, it's quite, it's still medium, it still measures medium, but it's quite short. It feels a bit thin, so I've never really worn it, but I feel like compared to some of the other shirts, it's a bit more lightweight at the very least. But it's an interesting design nonetheless. Uh, so this we have the Fortuna Dusseldorf shirt, which is 2011-12. So a bit older than most of the shirts that I own. Manufactured by Puma. Uh, it's the away shirt. And again, nothing really stands out too much about this one. Uh, yellow is not that much of a popular colour, to be honest. But it was relatively cheap, if I remember, so I just picked it up. Right, easily. Then I have this Hanover home shirt from 2006-7. So this is probably one of the oldest shirts that I own. And it's also one of the shirts that I just don't really like. I don't like shirts that have everything central, the sponsor, the logo, the manufacturer. It's made out of the stretchy elasticated material, which I'm not a huge fan of. And there's no real design on it. So if Hanover release a really nice shirt, I might just upgrade and get rid of this one or just do something with it. Uh, we have Brushy Munch and Godback. This is the home shirt from 1617. It's a really nice shirt actually. Good durable material. I like the sort of diagonal sort of uh, design across the front. It's um, yeah, it's a really nice one. Kappa, hit and miss, but it's starting to improve in my opinion. So I'm happy that I have this one. Then we have this uh, Nuremberg shirt from 1314, a home shirt. It's a pretty standard one, typical Adidas template, sort of a, well, a maroon colour, I guess. They're typical home colours. Nothing too crazy about that one. Then uh, we've got this FC St. Pauli shirt, which is the uh, home 1415 uh, version. I, well, I got this bought for me for my birthday directly from their club store. Came delivered in a big box with skulls all over it, which is quite interesting. 
Uh, I've also got the patches, the Hermes and the, um, I think it was the uh, Inspired Bundesliga patch, I think. Um, or it might be just the Bundesliga, it might be in the Bundesliga that time. Either way, it came directly from them and it's, it's really nice, not many brown shirts. Uh, Eintracht Braunsch uh, Braunschweig, which is the home 1415, which again is pretty uh, pretty standard. It's got, an, if you don't know if you can see on the camera, but you can see their sort of lion crest hidden in, in the, uh, the design of the shirt. It's their home, I would say, home shirt from uh, 1415, but it's pretty cool. You don't see many of those. This is uh, Heidenheim, which again I bought directly from the club store itself. This is a home shirt from 1718. Again, it comes with the, this is definitely the Survivor Bundesliga patch on the sleeve. And it's got a felt logo, which is not my favorite, particularly when you've got a transferred uh, sponsor, but it's pretty cool. Now we have Hoffenheim, which came in 1516, and it's the home one. Again, in the Lotto one, Bit longer than the uh, Mainz one, but still has this weird sort of uh, shaping at the bottom. Very lightweight, very durable. It's a pretty interesting design. We have this very cool Freiburg shirt, which is a third shirt from 1718, which has this crazy design on the front and the back, where it's the design by the Black Forest. So if you can see it closely, you've got humans, wolves, birds, all sorts of um, wildlife that you would find in the Black Forest. And a bit of purple is also interesting on the shirt. So that one's cool. Oh dear, we have this Paderborn shirt, which was released in, if I remember correctly, 2009 10. It's a home shirt. You don't really see many Paderborn shirts for sale, certainly not in the UK. And it was really cheap, it was like £12. Um, I don't know what it's worth now, probably about 20 but um, that one's quite unique. Then we have this Darmstadt shirt, which was the home 1617, I believe. Manfred by Jacko. Um, cool, weird, not quite parallel lines that run across the front. Really nice material, really good shirt. Then we had this RB Leipzig shirt, which came in the 13-14 season, the home shirt. So this was prior to them reaching the levels they've got now. And I thought I wanted one where it was before they really reached the big time, because we all knew it was going to happen. So this is whilst they were still the really hated, whereas now they're just seriously hated. Um, so that's cool to have a bit of history, I guess. This is the Schalke shirt, which was worn, I believe, for two seasons. It was a home 14 through to 16 shirt. One of my favourites, mainly because it just looks so much like a Chelsea shirt. Adidas. So if, if they released this design with Chelsea, I'd be very happy. I love the sort of the black purple stripes written down the front. So that's really nice. Then we have this Karlsruhe shirt, which was released first, I think, a home shirt in 1516. And then they carry it over for their away shirt the following season, which is always interesting when that happens. So it, it kind of, I suppose, it saves the fans having to buy it again, um, unless they change the sponsor, which I don't know if they did. I might have to look into that. But again, uh, another nice design. I like how the uh, vertical stripe separates as it hits the collar. Then we have this Bochum shirt, which was released 1617, the home shirt. Pretty plain, it's a typical night template. Got your Neto sponsor on the front. Um, again, you don't see many Bochum shirts, so I was happy to pick it up. Now we have one of my favorite shirts, this Kaiser's Lapsen shirt. Home shirt from 1516. I just love how this looks, particularly the checkered design, which runs around the bottom and around the sleeves. I think that's really cool. Um, I don't have many Ulsport, um shirts so it'd be interesting to see what else they could offer but that's really nice then we've got Bielefeld home 1718 mainly it's factored by uh, Joma and yeah it's really nice good solid shirt love how the sponsor fits nicely in the white body and then the logos fit in the black body so that's really cool then we have another Jacko shirt this time Würzburger Kickers 1718 again 
it's interesting the sort of horizontal gradient that reaches from here to, to the shoulders really interesting and i love how the sponsor sort of fits in between it doesn't sort of just slide underneath which is which is cool so that's a really nice shirt that i've got then we've got an Eintracht Frankfurt shirt which is the way 14 15 pretty plain white um i mean it's it's not one of the better ones i don't think it's if you've got a white shirt maybe do something a bit better with the colors that you have left the black or is it more of like a dark blue i don't know but it was fairly cheap so i just picked it up for that reason then we've got the union berlin which i bought from the classic football shirt store in manchester i love the logo in the body of the shirt obviously it's manufactured by macron so it's going to be good quality nice thick durable material and i've always been wanting one of these shirts so i was happy to pick that up then we have this Wolfsburg shirt which was very cheap i think i bought it for like 23 or something like that it's the uh, home shirt from 1617 bright green as you'd expect obviously the Volkswagen sponsor only issue is this this is felt again which if that would have been transferred on this shirt would have been so nice but um other than that i'm happy then we've got this vfl osnabrück shirt which was the away shirt from 2009 10 so another older one and for whatever reason this was just really plentiful and they're everywhere so i picked it up for like 15 pounds or 14 pounds so that price regardless of how plain it looks you can't really say no then we have this Greuther Firth shirt which has probably the biggest tag of any football shirt in the world like why is that so big this was released the home shirt 13 14 and yeah it's cool it's Hummel so it's going to be nice good design love the horizontal stripes Love how the sponsor fits in with the white again, so that's really cool. And then I think finally we've got this, I believe it's a centenary um Hertha Berlin shirt, home 2006-7, so another older one. And I'm always a sucker for gold anywhere on the shirt, so to see it with their sort of uh, amended logo is is quite quite cool. Um and that's it really, that's all of the German shirts that I own. I don't really have any plans to pick any more up. Like I said, I'm waiting for Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund to release some interesting designs. If I see any that are a bit more obscure, I will pick them up. But for now, I think that's quite a decent start. Um, so that's it, those are my German shirts. You've seen them in a bit more detail now. We'll probably move on to something else like Spanish or French next. Uh, and that's it. The next video I release should be a video whereby I show off a couple more new shirts that I'm going to get for my birthday. Um, whether or not I'm going to get those due to the lockdown, who knows, but I, at least I'll get one, I think. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe, Instagram, you know the jazz. Um, until next time, auf Wiedersehen.